How you doing? Good. So, Matt, you invited us out here today to try to look for your, your drone. Why don't you tell us what happened? Yeah, so we're out here at Ohop Lake in Eatonville. And uh, 4th of July, I was trying to impress my friends with my expensive drone. And decided to fly it over the lake, check out the firework display. And uh, it malfunctioned, and it dived on the bottom of the lake. So where do you think it went in? I'd say probably, if we look out here, about, about 75 yards adjacent to the buoy to the left of it. And it just uh, said went to the bottom of the lake. Only about 15 feet deep, so... Hopefully we can find it today. Okay, well, uh, we got four divers off of our SAR dive team um, that we volunteer with that are here today. What we're going to do is we're going to go out there, line up with that buoy, and probably be about 7,500 feet off of it to the left, and then we're going to dive down and start doing expanding circles. Uh, can you tell us anything about the lake? It looks like the visibility is kind of thick. Yeah, so un unfortunately it is uh, a little murkier than, than uh, normal, probably just because uh, some maybe some algae or whatnot but uh it's not good probably about two feet of visibility okay so i looked at the dot the depth chart and it looks like it gets down to about 20 and a half feet in the middle right there what do you think the depth is right there uh i would say between 15 and 20 feet 15 20 feet yeah, okay cool so that gives us a lot of bottom time so fortunately with the viz being crappy it, every time we expand the circle we're gonna only be able to expand it a few feet the drone is how, how big do you think the drone is uh, it's probably about so we're looking for a very small object. Okay, and how? What would you think the value of this this drone is? Like, what kind of drone is it? It's a it's a um, Typhoon H. And it's about about retail for about fifteen hundred bucks. Now, how do you think uh, it'll fare with this the water out here? Well, not being salt water, I think it'll be okay. And I think uh, if I get it back, I can able to take it apart, get the components, and then maybe see if I can get some warranty out of it. Okay, cool. All right. Well. Wish us luck. Let's see if we can find a drone today. And right. if not, then we're just diving in the mud. <laughs> so, thanks. We're going to hit the buoy soon, yeah. Yeah. So it should probably go out real quick. About right here, I'm lined up with that rock. Okay. Yeah. All right, ready? Where's the line? Where's the line? Right here, right here. Is you're gonna let yeah, one one tug is we're on north, and I'm gonna get and then hang on for a second. I'll give you two more feet, and then and then you guys can go. We're about two feet. Yep. And then, if anybody finds it, tug, tug, tug. Yep, yep. And then you, what can we do? I'll go up. One, yeah, it's small, so just grab it and we'll bring it up. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right.
Oh, you be here. Right? Mark. Hey, I found something too. I kept it with your leg, I think. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, I found a moonshine jug. Nice. <laughs> Woohoo. I owe Mark beer. Hey, Mark, let's see it. Let's see it on camera. Here, come here. So, Mark found the drone. So, I owe Mark beer. Nice. Good job, Mark. <laughs> Good job. Let me uh, let me reel up this spot. I know. See? Good POS. Good searching. Because that was zero viz. I couldn't see yeah. shit. I, and all of a sudden, I had something solid underneath me. It was a big jug. That only cost us about like 50 PSI each. <laughs> oh. No, no, yeah, she's got fishing line on her fin. So this was right underneath me. It's like one of those cheapo wine jugs. Hey guys, back in Eatonville again. And <laughs> guess what? Mark found the drone. Yeah. Tell me about it, Mark. Well, we got in, did some a couple of concentric circles and found it right away. Just one propeller sticking out of the mud. Basically like that. And uh, I'm super happy. So hopefully I can get this thing fixed and back in the air. So it was mainly, almost all of it was submerged in that mud. Yeah. Wow, that's good. And you and you saw it before you uh, came upon it. You just yeah. so the viz was probably. What do you think the viz was? A foot. A foot. I know when I was the pivot, it was zero. I couldn't even read my compass to tell you what you know to extend out. So Mark, I made an agreement with you that I was going to buy beer. So what 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 do you want? I don't know. I'm okay. not going to commit to that. I'm so going to think about it. You think about it. Find and, something really expensive. Yes, and buy. whatever I can find in Fred Meyers or Safeway or whatever. I can't qualify it like Okay, that. well, whatever I can find near <laughs> near me, I'll go to the store and get it. Something I don't have to order online or whatever. Right. But uh, we'll figure it out. Anyways, Matt, what do you think? Are I you think glad? It's awesome. I think we're good. You think it'll be? You, you think you, you can rebuild it and stuff? I'm a, that's a, I'm a sure hope. I'm going to contact the company and see what I can f figure out and. Hopefully we get this thing back in the air again. Yeah, did it? Did it, now I see some of the fins broke. Did it? Did it? Something happened when it went down. You think just hitting the water I think or hitting the water probably broke. Broke this, both them. Uh, they were working pretty good when I when I took it off. So, and I don't know. But yeah, that's fresh maybe, water. I, I hope maybe you know soak you know setting it in rice or something, stripping it down. You know helps you get it put back in the air. Right. Yep. I hope so too. So did it have little legs for it to set on? It does. These legs come down. Oh, okay. I so see. I just, see. They're up in the up position, but they gotcha. come down um, horizontal. So, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Gotcha. Well, I'm actually surprised that that was a success successful mission. I thought we were going to be out here all day searching, burning through air, and the whole thing, gearing up, getting in the water, getting back out was probably 30 minutes. Yep. Yeah. So that, that was that was lucky. Yep. So all right, Matt and Mark, thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate it. And we'll uh, we'll you know we'll, we'll edit this video and get it out as soon as possible, and I'll send you the link. I like it. So okay, cool. Thanks, guys.